Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today's video is sponsored by Article and I will be sharing with you guys an apartment reveal. I know in the past a few of you guys have commented that you are renting so I'm guessing you're either an apartment or a condo. Today's video is going to be, I guess it could be both apartment and condo related depending on if your space is small. So I guess it would be more into like a small space reveal. So I am currently in an apartment you guys and I'm gonna say this now, when you're outside, yes, it feels like an apartment, but when you come inside, it feels really, really homey and cozy, and I am so excited. Anytime I'm working with anyone, I always tend to figure out exactly what they're looking for. This client has specified three things. Don't make it look like a girl's place or a girl stays here. Make it comfortable and make it look nice. Those were the three things and I really feel like I accomplished that in the space. So I'm going to go ahead and share it with you guys. That way you can see with your own eyes. What I'm sharing with you guys right now is a quick look at the before of the apartment. I'm not really sure how long the tenant was in the apartment. That really wasn't my concern. I share the before that way you can appreciate the after. Going into the second frame, let me just mention that if you're living in a home where someone previously lived and you're looking for someone to design your home, also budget for cleaning. I did speak to my client about getting the carpets clean and just cleaning the apartment in general and everything was okay so we move forward with that i ended up calling a professional carpet cleaning company to not only get the carpet clean but i also got the carpet deodorized and if you guys are interested i'll be leaving that company in the description box down below that way you can look into it yourself for some services just because you're renting doesn't mean that you cannot take care of the space that you live i am a firm believer in if you take care of the small things you will continue to get blessed with even bigger things once the apartment was clean i allowed the floor to dry for about two days and then i returned in and then i hired a handyman a lot of you guys had mentioned to me before about tax rabbit now i can't use it in savannah but in atlanta thank you so very much because it was so easy to use i was able to just go on there and find someone and the handyman was so helpful with me having so much to do in the apartment it was so much easier on me and just the workload itself to be able to distribute tasks to other people to do things so he ended up hanging up the wall art the scones the floating shelves and also the rod for the window treatment and again he was amazing if you guys are interested i will be leaving the link down below but i'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some of the designing process is that the biggest box uh, is that the biggest box no okay i mean no, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Now, what I, I mean, I can, 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 um, Alright you guys, it is day two. I'm actually quite tired. I came with my pajamas on for me to fix everything. I'm going to get everything together organized and I'll probably be back here on Monday just to finish everything including the wall, but I wanted to go ahead and just do that. I'm surprised they have, oh, it hides it. Okay. I was like, I'm surprised they have the zipper right there. It looks like it's a poke. Hold it up. Put the back cushion up. Now, if you're choosing to order from Article, let me just mention now, you do not have to help. But you guys already know how I am. I'm not going to watch anyone work and I'm just sitting by idle. I felt like two was better than one and he was doing a really, really great job of getting everything together. So why not assist? And let me just mention, because I know you guys are going to be like, oh my God, you got the carpet cleaned and you're letting him walk with his shoes on. His shoes were clean. He wasn't bringing in any dirt or mud or anything into the house. So I didn't make a big deal about it. But again, in the future, um, you want to have some of those uh, shoe protectors just on hand and handy. So that when people are coming in to do some work, they can kind of cover their tracks and not get the place dirty. But he was really careful. Everything was great. So you guys can rest. 
<laughs> Once most of the furniture was in, there was just like a little bit of that styrofoam around. So I did want to vacuum that up. And the reason why I'm vacuuming is because he is coming in with the rug. And then he's going to come in with the sectional. And then you guys are going to get to see the whole entire space. But you guys have waited long enough. So here is the reveal. Alright you guys, I really, 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 really love this apartment. Even though it's not in the realm of what I personally would do in my home, my rule of thumb goes the same. I would never do anything in anyone's home that I wouldn't do in mine. I absolutely love the space. Everything came together so, so nicely. The accent chairs. The puff pillows, the rug, the sectional, the furniture was really, really easy to put together. There was absolutely no tools. I pretty much opened the box and got everything out. The delivery guy did help set everything up. I helped him. You guys know I can't sit then just watch someone work and not do anything. So I did help. Matter of fact, I take that back. When it came to the legs on the sofa and the legs on the buffet, I did have to use an Allen key and a drill to get those things on. But in terms of setting all the furniture up, the sofas and things like that, you really didn't need any tools and stuff. But the legs, you did need tools. The buffet, yes, the TV is actually on a buffet that I opted to use it as a credential everything just looks so so good and I absolutely love it I would definitely do a photo op in this space um, I could even live in this space it's really warm it's cozy it's a different feel from when you're in the apartment and when you leave out I came in here a couple days ago when things were just starting to finish up and I said how do you feel coming home like what do you mean I'm like it doesn't feel like an apartment it feels like a loft space and just really luxe is what I get when I come in you know in comparison to like when you're leaving the apartment I'm definitely about um, just because you live somewhere doesn't mean that you have to necessarily live in your home in the same manner so I 100% love 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 this living room just a little bit about article i really hate this because i ended up deleting so much footage when the furniture came it came in pieces so if you're in a small space you have an elevator or you can't bring really big and cumbersome furniture up your stairs for some particular reason article is definitely the furniture store to shop everything in this room from the sectional to the ottoman the accent chairs the puff pillow the rugs and the buffet is all from article you guys like everything i love the buffet 100 percent wood super solid really really heavy even if you don't like everything in the room and you're interested in the article piece you can break up the pieces and put little things here if you have a bedroom you can do the action chair and the puff pillow if you have a dining or even a living room you can use the buffet and turn it into a credenza or entertainment center I really love how everything came together. Like I said, I can't even stress enough how cozy the space looks. I did drape the window with some drapery. Even though you guys know, like, I'm really not a huge fan of drapery in my personal home. Sometimes when you're working in a space, a quick way to just make it feel really, really great and homey 
is definitely using the drapery. Also, on the accent one behind me, I used the linear space to do the floating shelf. I could have added another shelf on there just to kind of bring the bookcase all the way up, but I opted not to. Maybe later on, if that's something the client wants, they can do that. But I think everything came together really nice. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you're interested in anything, I will be leaving all the links to everything in the description box down below. I will label everything that way you can find it with ease. Ease. And if there's something that you absolutely love in this space, just leave that also down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Again, thank you so very much to Article for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.